Welcome everyone. This video is for the pre-calc classes and I wanted to show you how to use your calculator with summation notation. So again, this is part of chapter nine and once you get the hang of this, this won't take you very long. But first thing we need to understand is what summation and sigma notation means. So summation notation is there, a, there's a convenient notation for the sum of the terms of a finite sequence. A finite sequence stops. It could be 10 terms, it could be 100 terms, it could be a million terms, but it just stops, okay? Obviously, we can't find the sum of an infinite sequence because an infinite sequence of numbers would go on forever. So it's called summation notation or sigma notation because it involves this Greek letter sigma. I'm sure some of you have seen this, uh, brothers or sisters, maybe you're in a fraternity or sorority, but this sigma notation is what we use. And that pretty much means we're going to add up a bunch of terms. Okay. So how does this go about? Well, if I have the summation, that's how we read this, the summation from one to five of three I. That means we're starting with one being plugged in. We're going all the way up to five. So if I do this by hand, this is where we start and this is where we finish. And think of this as like a function. I know we're used to it in terms of X, but you'll see I, uh, you'll see I, you'll see N, you'll see K, P, et cetera, whatever. Okay, this one's in terms of I's, not a big deal. If I plug in one, that means my first term is three times one, which is three. If I plug in two, because I'm going all the way up to five, so I have three times two, I get six. Then I have three times three, I get nine, three times four, I get 12, and then finally three times five, I get 15. I stop at five because that's where the upper bound here, this is where I finish. So I'm taking and I'm adding up all of these. So if you go to your calculator, and I'll pull up my calculator here, and I just sit there and I go, all right, three plus six plus nine plus 12 plus 15. I know that the summation of 3i from 1 to 5, when I add all those up, is going to be 45. Now, that's not overwhelmingly hard when you have only five terms and a very easy 3i there. The more complex this gets, the more you're going to want to lean on your calculator for doing this. And I'm going to show you this on how to use your calculator, okay? So let's say we had the summation from one to six of one plus K squared. We're using K this time. Again, not a big deal. It could use X, K, N, whatever. So instead of writing this out six times, I'm gonna use my calculator. So the shortcut is alpha F2. And you get the summation notation, which is number two right here. So I pull that up. Now, for my calculator, everything's in terms of X's. So instead of K, I'm going to use the X. I'm going to go from one, hit the right arrow, to six. And then what's important now is the entire function has to be inside these parentheses. So I'm going to put one plus x squared in the parentheses and hit enter and I get my sum to be 97. That means if I wrote out all six terms of this, adding them all up, I get 97. So I can make up pretty much any summation I want. So if I want the summation, I'll use n this time from 1 to 15 of n plus one. I'll go to my calculator, alpha F2, choose number two. I'm gonna go X from one to 15 and then put X plus one, 
hit enter. The first 15 terms, if I add them up, I get 135. So all I want you guys to do today is the delta math with a few problems of using your calculator on adding up the sums.